This week on Frontline, we will examine the Syrian civil war and the toll it's taken on the locals. With me is Syrian civil war survivor, Yosef. Hello. Hi, Yosef. Please tell us about your experiences during this civil unrest. It has been a living nightmare, waking up to the sounds of bombs and You said, you said the name of this show is Frontline? I never heard of it. What is it? Well, Frontline is a documentary and thought-provoking journalism show. Sounds interesting. I, I just never heard of it. So, you were saying? Yes. Uh, it's a living nightmare, waking up my whole family, to the sounds of bombs, screaming, wondering, wondering. Do people watch this show? Yes. Really? It, it just, it takes a lot of energy for me to tell my story and a lot of vulnerability. I don't want to waste it if, if the story is not going to be heard. It will be heard by many. Frontline is watched by millions of people around the world. Millions? Maybe. I just never heard of it. What, what channel is it on? Uh, uh, CNN? NBC? ABC? CBS. Oh, CBS. Okay, that's a good one. They have this show, uh, Two and a Half Men, where one guy, he gets all of the women, even though he's kind of old, and he has a fat son, because American food is not good. It's PBS. P is in Peter. Oh, PBS. No. That one I don't know, never heard of that one. It's public television. Public broadcasting service. It's a nonprofit and funded by donations from viewers and citizens who watch the channel. Many of our episodes are streaming on Netflix. You've heard of Netflix? Netflix, <laughs> yes. I have a subscription. Wonderful. Actually, I share one with my brother. Shh. I won't tell anyone. There's so many good shows. Sometimes it takes forever to pick one show to find, you know? Yeah, they've got a lot of content. What's wrong, Yosef? Well, if Netflix doesn't suggest for you to watch the show, it's very hard to find it. So, I mean, if it's not a suggestion, it's not really on Netflix. Did you follow the whole thing I said right there? Do you understand how it's not really there? Because, you know, it's there, I know you said it. But because it's not... You understand? I assure you, Frontline is watched by millions of people and your story will be heard. You, you seem to believe it. Please. I'll start from the beginning. It has been a living nightmare. Waking up to the sounds of bombs, explosions. We live in a small town, so we wonder why. Why? Why would anybody donate money to public television? It's like, that's the free thing, you know? Television, they give commercials, and the commercials are worth paying for it. So, so why are people donating? Well, not everybody donates. Enough good people who want to do the right thing and support public television donate to keep it going. Well, if they're so good, why do they come here uh, and help us? We've been in a civil war for seven years. I don't see any good people here. Okay, fine. They do it for tote bags. Ah. Tote bags and stickers ah. and mugs. I'm just trying to do my job. Ah, well, like I told you earlier, Jeff, or whatever your name is, it takes a lot of energy and vulnerability for me to tell my story. And I'm not gonna do it for some tote bag and sticker lovers who are just gonna share my story at the dinner table and get a rush when their friends are like, Oh, what a sad and interesting story that was that I've never heard of before. And you know why they never heard of it before? Because nobody watches Frontline. All right, fine. Let's just do this interview. Sorry, 
Greg or Bishop or whatever your name is, this interview is over. Hello? Hi, this is Fox News. Will you tell us your story? Fox News? Fake news for conservatives? Yep, that's the Don't one. you dare. I have heard of you. I will do it. Uh, Jeff or Tom, uh, can you leave all this equipment? Because Fox News is coming. 